question number 17 of gs paper 3 now the question read comment on national wetland conservation program initiated by government of india and name a few india's wetlands of international importance included in the ramsar sites so in this case the question has two parts the first question has a straightforward talked about the national wetland conservation program okay that's the first part of the question and second part it is talking about the ramsar sites in india so dealing with these two parts now the first aspect is writing the introduction an introduction over here can be as plain and simple as writing the definition of the wetland so of course uh, the definition of the wetlands uh, based on ramsar convention is very lengthy so we have shortened it and over here we can say that wetlands are distinct ecosystems characterized by presence of water and then we have in very short talked about the significance of wetlands here only in the introduction that in general they are very fragile ecosystem and very important for ecological balance maintenance so this is the introduction part now moving on to the second part of the uh, answer which is the national wetland conservation program and national wetland conservation program over here now can be seen the points majorly is initiated in 1985-86 and the second aspect that is the provisions now provisions of national wetland conservation program very basic in nature but most important ideas to identify the most important of the wetlands so overall provisions uh, revolved around identifying the need for identifying the important wetlands and along with that taking steps to conserve them with respect to creating the database or monitoring of the wetlands so over here you can see the important provisions we have first dealt with the identification and conservation along with that financial assistance to states monitoring and implementation part and research and database so these were in general it was a very generalized framework related to wetland conservation in india but yet it was has been a uh, very earliest of the identification of the significance of wetlands in india so this has been the part and then talking about the challenges and way forward with respect to wetland conservation program so as you can see the challenges is primarily overlapping roles of different government agencies primarily because the roles of different government agencies were not very clearly delineated and segregated under national wetland conservation program and so the different areas with respect to wetland conservation fell under uh, different government agencies and so overlap was a major issue second one that is so with the ever expanding industrialization and urbanization in the country it becomes extremely difficult to maintain and preserve or conserve the wetlands that's primarily because the industrialization is going to happen urbanization is going to happen in the process of development and both industrialization and urbanization okay one of the aspect related to that is encroachment of the wetlands so as there is a scarcity of land okay it becomes a very natural extension of industrialization or urbanization that is more and more lands would be taken up even if it amounts to encroachment of wetlands so on one hand when government is promoting industrialization and urbanization at the same time okay going with the conservation of wetlands preservation of the wetlands definitely becomes a challenge for the government so when we talk about the way forward what can be done first aspect to this is the uh, include the adoption of the holistic approach and when you say adoption of the holistic approach the idea is a wetland conservation and significance of the wetlands should not be seen in isolation or because so wetland conservation just the identification of the wetlands maintaining the database definitely would not be sufficient enough so in this case it has to be treated and seen in a more holistic perspective with respect to all the possible threats to the wetlands 
which may include encroachment which may include pollution in fact to that extent include the impacts of climate change and creating a comprehensive holistic framework regarding wetland conservation second one is again when you talk about the overlapping of the government agencies definitely that would be there but most importantly wetlands at the local level okay are of a significant importance and wetland conservation cannot be done without involving the local communities in that and local communities in this case are more effective in wetland conservation because in majority of the wetlands it would not be a very large scale water body or so but rather it would be important locally so uh imparting knowledge to the locals okay uh, empowering them okay goes a long way in the conservation of the wetlands and so comes up over here community involvement a very important and major feature that should be there in any wetland conservation aspect and the third one we are talking about which repeatedly we have been saying that is the overlapping roles of different government agencies that's where coordination comes into picture so these are the way forwards regarding the wetland conservation now coming to the second part of the question which was the wetlands of international importance ramsar sites in india and given the word limit of the question now definitely the best approach to this can be just showing it on the map of india okay and writing in few details here and there only so that we get a overall overview of the major wetlands so in here some important ones i have taken if you can see including the loktak lake and including keola deo so loktak lake and keola deo i have included because both of these sites are montreux sites okay along with that chilka lake i have taken which earlier was a montreux site okay but later was removed from montreux record because of successful conservation efforts so these three definitely finds a mention over here and as you can see some significant aspects related to these wetlands we have written over here like loktak lake from these that is the floating islands floating vegetative mass okay or known for endangered species that is sangai okay so these are the three ones then apart from that a few specific uh, uh, wetlands have been mentioned like kavartal kavartal if you can remember it came in the prelims examination itself as in the question with respect to oxbow lakes okay so we make a point over here by putting kavartal over here it was the first ramsar site to be declared in bihar then apart from that randomly from here and there some important ones we have included like wuller lake has been included over here okay roper has been included over here koleru lake okay and so on so forth few of the wetlands have been explained over here with specific pointers but primarily with respect to india's map so this sufficiently would do our second part of the question which is the important ramsar sites in india and lastly moving on to the conclusion in conclusion we have tried to make it slightly current oriented so when we are talking about wetland conservation program a way old program but now given the way forward the idea is what has been done in the recent times so what has been done in the recent times we have brought over here wetland rules the new wetland rules which came in 2017 and the most important aspect of these wetland rules have been decentralization okay more power has been given to the states okay the powers have been delegated to the states and so over we have over here we have put that the point that is the wetland rules have tried to address the issues adopting a more decentralized approach so this is where we have made the answer current specific also and ending up with a suggestive conclusion that is what is needed the adaptation appraisal and so on so overall in this answer two parts 
in which first part national wetland conservation program provisions challenges way forward and going with that second part okay dealt with the important wetlands of india ramsar sites of india and lastly okay current context of the uh, question and suggestive conclusion so that's the answer for this question